today we're going to be taking a look at the software that powers the iPod. The iPod was one of the 2000s most loved products and a product that many including myself still love to today, till today. So today we're going to be taking a look at the software on an iPod Nano 3. Let's go. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. And look what we have here. It's been a long time since this guy's been on the channel, isn't it? Well, I mean, it has definitely been a very long time since I've ever I've even thought about this iPod. So let's take a look at the software. Here are the categories, and I think the one that will take the most time to look at is settings, because that's the most interesting. So I think we'll start off with the top tab, which is the music tab. Now it makes sense on a device that is geared towards music that music is the top category on its home screen. So you have cover flow, playlists, which is like music playlist. Everyone knows what that is, right? Artists, albums, compilations, songs, which is your songs. I don't know. Genres, composers, which is the same as artists, I think. Audiobooks. This one's interesting. So iPods could actually have audiobooks on them. Um, similarly to because I, I actually don't know how that would work honestly genuinely oh god it's almost dead it's almost dead i need to hurry search a c anything that has the letter a no no go back anything that has the letter a comes up when you search for a such good ui design right like i i thought when you search for the letter a the letter b comes up i'm joking i'm joking playlists so you can actually have playlists and the way you create them is on your Mac with Finder or if you're on Mojave or older with iTunes because that is actually how you sync things to your iPod. So you can use the Mac operating system to do that. Um, but yeah. Fun fact. You can watch videos on iPods. If you have... Um, Headphones connected because these iPods don't have speakers. A user by the name of Nekomichi over on Reddit actually managed to play my, one of my former videos, one about the iPod, on his iPod Nano itself. And that was really impressive and it's something I would really like to do uh, myself for a video. However, I was unable to get it working. I might get some further help from Nekomichi as I do follow him on Twitter and stuff. So, yeah. Um, if he's somehow by some miracle watching this, please DM me, bro. I need help. I, I really, I really don't get how this works, how to get videos on iPod. But I'm getting distracted. Let's go on to video playlist, which is also going to be this clip because the battery went up. What the? You can only click on this if you have a playlist full of videos. We've already established how you can make playlists with music using your Mac. So, to sync anything with an iPod, you just need to use your Mac, honestly. That's like the easiest way. Next up, we have photos. This is one of my favorite settings on the iPod. The fact that you can transfer photos, once again using your Mac, to your iPod and be able to look at them. I think it's just really cool. I used to have like 200 photos on here. I really don't know why I don't have them. That's very strange need to deal with that but that's for a future video maybe or probably something i'll do off camera because i'm a tech enthusiast off camera as well i'm sure that that's pretty obvious so yeah i do a lot of projects off camera like i installing mac os sequoia that was something i was originally going to do on camera but i ended up installing it really late so i'm getting distracted again so shuffle songs oh settings and don't go there that's lost shuffle songs this shuffles all of your songs and you can supposed to be able to, to skip how do you skip i i think you're supposed to be able to skip i'm not sure and then now playing shows you what is now playing on your ipod now onto the most fun menu which in, in my opinion is the settings settings is one of the most important menus on any device so for example on this ipad you can enable things like it's dead but like rest home button with touch ID to unlock on on my iPhone I can enable 4k recording editing, developer mode lockdown mode and many other important functions that could not be enabled without a settings app and on the iPod settings is also quite useful 
So let's take a deep dive into settings. This is not going to be the most important part. So first we have about, which shows how much storage you have used and how much storage you have free, as well as what is taking up your storage and what whether you flashed your iPod system using a Mac, which would make it be running the Mac version of the iPod system, um, as well as if you flashed it on Windows. Now there are some other menus that I have off, so I'm gonna deal with it. Now shuffle, you can turn this on or off to shuffle your entire music library when you play it. And play current playlist once. Repeat would repeat it, obviously. The main menu, this one's interesting. So here you can change what shows up. And I'm actually going to turn on games if that comes up, because that is something I want to show. And extras, there's a lot of extras. I want to show off the extras too, but I'll do that after the settings. So yeah, music menu. Now, I actually don't know what this one does. What the f what is what is this? What the hell? Oh, so this shows up what thing shows up when you go to the music menu on the main home screen of your iPod. So, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> go back. Go back. V vo volume limit. So, you can lock the volume on a special limit basically and backlight. This show this is uh, how long it takes the iPad to go iPod to go off when it's not being used. So I will demo that in demo that real quick. I believe this is how it works. It's gonna take a little nap by everyone. There you go, see? So depending on what your backlight is on is how long it takes for your iPod to turn off. Uh audiobook settings. This shows fast like speed for audiobooks. EQ EQ. I don't use this because if I remember correctly, there is no late night option here. You might be thinking though, where's the option to lock the click wheel? That's actually a physical lock. My nails were just cut, so. So now, as you can see, this doesn't do anything. If I want to fix that, I can just unlock it. Oh, I closed the settings menu. Shoot. Anyway, sound checker and the clicker. You can f turn what, in my opinion, is annoying off. Oh. The clicker sound. Date and time. It is not the 7th of... It is not the 9th of July, 2024. And it is not... It, it is actually... It's not 5.24pm. It's 7.14pm at the time of filming this. And then there's reset and everything like that. So I'm going to enable the extras tab and we can take a look in there now. Anecdote. This Nike Plus iPod thing no longer works. Because that's not a thing that Apple is doing anymore, I guess. So, obviously not. This has been so long. So, yeah. But, now let's get into the extras, which I've enabled every single one of them. Which is quite a lot. So, there's actually clocks on here. Which shows you your world clock. And it is... It's definitely not 9.25am in California right now. I am have my MacBook Pro here. And I'm going to Google the time in california it is actually 11 15 a.m in california it is not 9 25 p.m in california ah uh -huh, so you add stuff to you can add clock there. okay calendars this one's interesting calendar you can so like you can add like reminders and stuff you can also use ipods for setting alarms which is very interesting so yeah Contacts, obviously, is contact. Now, I never figured out quite how to get this working. I think I might know how. I think you have to transfer the individual contact files from the macOS contacts app. No. No! It's dying from the macOS contacts app onto your iPad pod manually. Now, if it's dying, I'm going to have to finish this video tomorrow because I don't know if I have enough time to charge it first and then continue. Oh, oh, it's back, it's back, it's back. Whoa, 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 whoa. And my extras menu is gone. Oh. Um. What? All the settings I changed are gone when I restart. What the hell? This was meant to be a normal Ramin's tech video. There was not meant to be any problems. What the? What? What? I have never seen this in my whole life. Granted, I don't have much experience with um, iPods. Now, there are four extras here that we haven't gone through um games 
I don't have time to show this off because it could die. iPod quiz is like a music quiz and I, I forget what these other two are. But yeah, notes. You can actually make notes on here, what? Ah. Okay, so basically you can take TXT and text files from your Mac and put them onto here and view them. That's quite useful, honestly. I'm learning a lot from making this video. Screen lock. You can add a password to your iPod. So, zero, nine, sure. I don't even know. That didn't seem, I, don't, I think I did that wrong. Stopwatch. It's a stopwatch. Oh, frick, frick, frick. It's a stopwatch. What else do you expect it to do? But yeah, imagine, imagine I just forget to turn this off. How do I turn it? Okay, I turned it off, cool. New timer. Let's do this. Oh, that's the stopwatch, I'm, I'm stupid, okay. Uh, I forget where you can create alarms, but I know you can. I don't use iPods very often, so I'm not sure. All right then. With that, I think we should play some of the iPods games. So I'm gonna see if I can do that before it dies. Wish me luck. So, iPod quiz is a music quiz, and I'm not very good with music. I don't listen to much music. So, I'm probably gonna fail this miserably. I'm trying to make this somewhat comfortable for myself. Okay, this, this works. iPod quiz. I think I have to put my name down, so I just put A C C C C C C. New game, new game, new game. No, no, do not exit. Don't exit. New game, yes. Music quiz two. Let's do this. I think this is the one I'll probably I would probably suck the most at. Let's see. Ten dollars per question. I wish, man. I wish. Was Deborah Harry the lead singer? I don't know this, but I'm gonna go. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Did Eddie have a dad in the band? No. How am I crushing this? What the hell? The album Al Quran is by Sheikh Abdurrahman Sadez. Yeah, sure. It is, because I have two albums of the Quran. Don't you want me with who's creation? I'm gonna go with that. What? 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 Three times the. Damn it! It was four. A US gold album means how many copies were. So I'm gonna go with 500k. Oh, what? I don't, I don't know. Any, I don't know any of this. This is not scripted. I, I, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, that's great. This is not a game that I enjoy, but yeah, that was crazy. Clond, Clond, Clondike. I've never, I've never even played this one. Oh, it seems like a, a cards game. I'm not good at those, so I'm not in the mood to embarrass myself. Vortrex! Wow, Vo Vortrex? <laughs> I've been watching too much Vortrex, okay? Vortex, not Vortrex. That That's not how, how life works. How does this work? Oh, it's like the dropper in Minecraft, I think. Press center button, sure. What the fish? Um... Okay, I don't get how this works. Right. Thank you very much for watching this short documentary of the iPod system. I think it's very interesting to look back on the iPod system and see what it's like and what cool anecdotes that Apple had that this has. As a system that Apple made almost 20 years ago, the iPod was only discontinued just two years ago in May 2022. So it's very interesting to see what this system that came out all the way back in like 2007 can do and what unique and interesting features it has. So with that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.